What's My Line? Brought to you by Kellogg's. Kellogg's Cereals. The best to you each morning from Kellogg's of Battle Creek. Here's a quick view of the old show from 73 years ago. Yes, What's My Line? Where the experts try to guess the occupations of real people. And now let's meet our lineup of well-known personalities whose lines you probably already know. First, the well-known Broadway columnist of the New York Journal-American, Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. And on my left, one of America's great literary authorities, Mr. Louis Untermeyer. Thank you, Dorothy. And on my left, that adorable Arlene, Miss Francis. And on my left, my favorite comedy writer, Hal Block. Thank you very much. And on my left is our moderator, a news commentator, a master of ceremonies, and about the only daily that you can see on Sunday, Mr. John <laughs> Daly. <laughs> Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to What's My Line. And now, recorded live from Ipswich, Massachusetts, let's all play What's My Line. Welcome to What's My Line 2023. The show began on CBS in 1950 and ran for 17 years. Here's our panel, starting with the lovely Debbie Taves, TV voice artist and former contestant on Family Feud. Thank you. And on my left is Gary Rogers, owner and operator of one of the North Shore's premier breweries, the True North Ale Company. Well, thank you. And on my left is Coco McCabe, a premier professional photographer and former newspaper editor. And on my left is Roland Hinckley, a former popular high school teacher and football coach. <laughs> and on my left is our moderator, Frank Stewart, a, professor, a professional actor and singer uh, on both coasts, also known as Paco. Well, panel, let's see what we can do with our first mystery contestant. Will you enter and sign in, please? Barbara. Barbara X. And where are you from, Robert? From Gloucester. Why don't you just come right around here, come right over here, and join me, if you will. Say hello to our panel. Let's just pause and let the studio audience and the audience at home know exactly what your line is. We can tell you that Barbara X is self-employed and deals with a product. And we will begin the questioning with Miss Taves. Yes, hi Barbara. Good morning. I'm um, wondering if this product is something that both men and women would avail themselves of? Yes. And children as well? Yes. Um, For sure. For sure. Do you uh, manufacture this product? Yes. Do you yourself manufacture it? Uh, yes. Is it made of something that was once alive? No. Hmm. Let's hope not. No. A, <laughs> a manufactured product. Uh, and we already said that men, women, children all mm -hmm. would use that. Uh, is the pr would the product be con considered more uh, useful than pleasurable? No. That's two down and eight to go. Does the product have to do uh, with your life in Gloucester? No. Three down and seven to go, panel. <laughs> um, is this product uh, available in, say, um, uh, market baskets stores or? No. Like, no. That's four down and six to go. Ah, uh, yes. Is this product something? Uh, the, re the reason you're not giving your last name, is it just X, or is X meaning something that you're not telling us the rest of it? <laughs> X means something that I'm not telling you the okay. rest of it. So if it we might knew be your familiar. whole name, yeah. would give us a good clue. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Um, is this something which would be a yes? Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes. And is it something that's used more at party times? No, no. Just Although mm. all of us have enjoyed your product, true. At special Cheater. occasions and parties. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. hmm. um, and the product is available for for sale. Yes. Uh, it's uh, readily available um, in stores and uh, online, uh, but readily available. Yes. Yes. Um, is it a, uh, I, I guess it's a consumer product. We talked about men, women, children. Yes. Uh, is it something that would be found in the home? Yes. Yes. Uh, is it a, uh, a hard good, a product that's made of metal or wood? No. Mm -hmm. That would be five down. You did uh, well, Mr. Rogers, for a minute there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Coco. Great. Um, is this product used in a, um, actually, does this product require some kind of power source? No. That is six down and only four to go, panel. May I confer? Yes, sure. They have yeah, a chance to confer on the Oh, that's yeah. exciting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. But it's not made of plastic or okay. metal or yeah. it's not a hard It's not good. something that was once it's alive. It's pleasurable. It was not once alive. Yeah. If it was not once alive, yeah. how could it be edible? Is this product edible? Yes. Oh. It is edible. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And, we, and we, we did say that it was uh, men, women, and children, right? Yes. Yes. Edible. And pleasurable. And pleasurable. Mm -hmm. Um, is this uh, product uh, sweet? Yes. Does this uh, uh, product uh, come in its own, say, wrapper? Yes. Yes. Is your name on the wrapper? Mm, yes. Okay, in some form, perhaps. <laughs> is this some form of candy? Yes, it is. Yes. Oh. Okay, does, uh, does this candy have um, chocolate involved? Yes. yes. <laughs> um, um, uh, 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 does this product bear the name, uh, a name that perhaps, uh, uh, or a nickname that the roster is uh, um, named uh, as part of the product name? Does she have a store? No. 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 Okay. Um, could you repeat that? Yeah. Could you repeat that? All right. Uh, uh, on the wrapper. You were yeah. close. Yeah. <coughs> you deviated at the last yeah. second. <laughs> you were on the right track. Okay. Is this uh, is this uh, is, sorry? Does this product have the name of Gloucester? Oh. Um, or uh, uh, any um, any form by which Gloucester may have been known or nicknamed on on the. Uh, on the, uh, we would know that, we know that name on the wrapper. No. no. Okay, no. all right. And seven down and eight to go, but let me just take a second if I might. Yes. Um, <laughs> your question was an interesting one. And uh, as I've said before, sometimes we find it so difficult to communicate one to another that the English language has so many vagaries that it can be interpreted in so many different ways that when you use the name Gloucester, it may have been confusing to you and the panel, but I would point you to the X marks the spot. Maybe like the VGK band? So, try to, well, X is, the As name, in the name is the chocolate is yeah, that's As in Barbara X. Yeah, the could be the yeah. It's not Winfrey's chocolate. No. No. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> I thought we were there. That's, uh, <laughs> that's a big oh, eight yeah, down. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> I, think, I think after that question, I'm just going to flip the last two oh, of those because uh, we'll I'd like long. to introduce you to Barbara Nichols. Oh, oh, Nichols oh, candy yeah. of which oh, oh, thank you. I can't tell you, I speak for all of us here, Barbara, that coming into Gloucester, 
just before you go over the bridge and all of a sudden there's something in our palates that goes there, 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 go there. We're home. And we thank you so sincerely for making such a wonderful product. Um, we've all enjoyed it. Look forward to it in the future forever. Good to hear. So, thank you very please, much. Please come and say hi to all of them. Barbara Nichols. For the shave you've always wanted, the shave you've never had, reach for the Remington and you'll be glad. Though your skin is awfully tender, your beard is awfully tough, reach for the Remington. Now we come to and the special feature of our program where we entertain our special mystery challenger. And for this, our panel will be completely blindfolded. So panel, if you will don your blindfolds before our mystery challenger enters, make sure they're nice and snug and tight. How are we doing? <coughs> panel, are your blindfolds in place? All good, Mr. Stewart. <laughs> Would you please enter and sign in Mystery Challenger. That's quite a round of applause. <laughs> Please sign in on the board right here. Thank you very much, and if you will just come right around and over here and join me. So panel, I would remind you for this portion of the program, we will change the questioning, wherein each of you gets to ask just one question in turn, going in a clockwise direction, and we're going to begin the questioning with Ms. Taves. Yes, uh, mystery guest, are you, um, do you live locally in Ipswich? No. That's one down. Yes, mystery guest, uh, are you by chance involved in uh, state or local government? No. That's two down, eight to go. And mystery guest, would we have seen you on TV? Yes. Mystery guest, um, did you work in Ipswich? No. That is three down, seven to go. Come on, panel. <laughs> uh, mystery guest, are you in the entertainment business? Yes. Mystery guest, would we recognize you when we see you on TV? Yes. Mystery guest, uh, do you sing? No. Well, that's four down and six to go. Well, I, I just might enter. Now, we don't know for certain whether our mystery guest is a wonderful singer or not, <laughs> but the answer to your question is absolutely correct in that that is not her primary product. Product. Mm, mystery guest. Um, are you an <coughs> actress? No. Um, Mystery well, that's guest. That's five down. Um, do you five give, to go. Do Ms. you give Taves. autographs or no? I, you're probably not an actress. Someone said that, right? Uh, mystery guest, would you be someone that sells a product on TV? Yes. Uh, and would that product have to do with the news? No. Well, that's six down. Mystery guest, we only have four to go here. I thought they were going to hone right in, but we'll see how it goes. Mystery guest, is the product that you are associated with, is it something that I would use? Yes. Uh, um, mystery guest, 
is, is, is uh, the product uh, um, applied to the body? Yes. Mm, tentative yes. Mystery guest. Uh, uh, excuse me, but let me just <laughs> clarify that for Mr. Hinckley. Yes. Uh, mystery guest is absolutely correct when she says it could be applied to the body, but that may give you the wrong impression with the esoteric nature of our communications and speech in that when you're talking about applying something, there are various ways you can do that to the body. And in our mystery guest particular situation, that might not be exactly what you're envisioning right now. Thank you. Okay. Anyone understand that? <laughs> no, um, mystery guest, is this product more useful rather than pleasurable? Yes. Yes. It certainly is both, isn't it? Uh, would this product apply to men as well as women? Yes. And, Mr. Guest, is this product uh, advertised in places beyond TV? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> Two uh, seconds, Mr. Hinkley. Mystery, mystery Guest, is this <clears throat> product liquid? Yes. It's liquid. Is it consumable? Yes. Well, I'm let, certainly, I uh, confer with the guest here. But it's applied <laughs> to you. It's you know, inside, your, inside your body. Or, uh, oh, yeah, edible consumption. We're in agreement that, again, we may have misled you unintentionally, of course, <laughs> that the product is, at times, liquid, but can be, at times, in a different form. But it's edible. Okay. So you're next. And <laughs> the question that was asked was consumable? Yes. Uh, oh, but does that that's mean different edible? than edible. There's, there's right. a couple okay. of yes. you know, definitions of uh, Would this product <clears throat> be considered uh, a food product? Yes. Oh. Have I seen you on billboards anywhere? Yes. Is this product a national product of national renown? Yes. Is this product um, something that's used more often for celebrating? No. Mm. Although all of us <laughs> have celebrated using her product. Uh, so. I'll ask directly, is this a food product? Yes. Sometimes liquid and sometimes not. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Uh, is this product um, uh, related to the seasons? Meaning fall, winter, spring, summer? Yes. To all of them. It's related to all the seasons, okay? Ooh. Did we? No, it's no. edible, right? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm It's a food product. Okay, let's see. It's national renown. Um, does, this, uh, does this product come in a bottle? We're having a bit of a difficulty with that question, <laughs> uh, Mr. Hinkley, because you see, the product uh, could come in a bottle, but it could come in many other conveyances, depending on exactly what specific part of the product we're talking about at any one point in time. Uh, do children enjoy using this product? Yes. Uh, do you consider yourself uh, a chef? Yes. Is this product sweet? Uh, 
a Sometimes. mystery guest is sweet, and the product can at many Sometimes. times also be considered sweet. So it's a range mm. of products. Mm. A range. Mm. I'll bet. Mm. Liquid sometimes, <laughs> bottled sometimes. But um, everyone enjoys it, children, grown-ups. Mm. Is, is this product um, uh, is the ability to use this? Uh, is this product uh, usable without cooking? Yes. <laughs> is uh, this product has this product been around since um, at least the two thousand the year two thousand? Yes. Is this product found on grocery shelves. Or, or you may in, in grocery refrigerated sections, uh, uh, not just shelves. Yeah, right. uh, in the in grocery, grocery store. stores. <laughs> yes. In grocery stores. Yes. Can anyone make this product? Yes. <laughs> um, is this product, product uh, uh, more targeted towards children? No. And that's uh, seven, down. seven down. And what we're going to do is, you came close, panel, <laughs> but uh, we're going to flip all these cards over right here. I'd like you to remove your blindfolds, please, and say hello to Mary Ann Esposito, oh. American oh. chef, uh, incredible <laughs> cookbook writer. And obviously, the star of Chow Italia, which is America's longest running cooking program. Oh. Oh, and if I might, having just fortunately purchased it, I'd just like to show you Marianne's latest and most wonderful cookbook, Chow Italia Plant Harvest Cook, where she takes us right from the gut. For those of us who are gardeners, and like to think that we are wonderful Epicurean chefs also. This amazing book. It's amazing. Thank you. Thank I just you. had it for a few days now. I got started to read it. I could not put it down. I'm not just saying that, Mary Ann. It's a wonderful, wonderful book. Thank it's you. insightful and it takes takes you from the garden through harvesting the product and then taking it into the kitchen and satisfying our tummies. So thank you for You're doing very welcome. this. Thank you. Please stand up. Yes. Oh, that was fun panel. Let's see what we can do with our next contestant. Would you please enter and sign in? Ginny, Ginny O'Hearn, Ginny, where are you from? I live in Beverly. In Beverly, yeah. please come right here and join us. Now, you know how we uh, keep score on What's My Line? Mm -hmm. And let's just pause for a second so that the studio audience and the audience at home can see exactly what your line is. All right, Tamara. Here we go. We can tell you that uh, Ms. Ahern is salaried and deals in a service. And we will begin the questioning this time with Ms. McCabe. Great. Um, is this service available for both men and women? Yes. And do people come to you for the service? Yes. Yes, OK. And is this service um, something that, uh, do you touch people in carrying out this service? You could, sometimes. Sometimes. The okay. question was that you touch. Do you touch people? Ah, uh, well. Physically touch yeah. people. Maybe oh, well. mentally touch them? <laughs> I'm talking about physically touch them. The answer to both of those would probably be yes. Yes. Okay, great. And um, do you need, need to use any tools in carrying out this service? Yes. And uh, do those tools require any kind of power source, like mm -hmm. electricity or 
a fire underneath them or sometimes sometimes yeah I, I I would say knowing what she does the answer does not pertain specifically to her service but as part of her service that is supported by product that her service sets forth okay. the answer would be yes uh, does this service require special training mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, and when you are performing this service, are you wearing uh, clothing other than street clothes? No. And that is one down and nine to go. To perform this service, um, it, it is performed on, uh, okay. okay. To perform this service, if I was to come to you, would I have to take my Shirt off for example? <laughs> <laughs> you could. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, that's, your first question. that's a great question, and uh, we're going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> Take your shirt off. <laughs> Does this service um, help to improve your health uh, as opposed to being more for fun? No. That's three down Doesn't and seven to go. No, does not. Uh, you had said that it applies to men and women. Does it also apply to children? Yes. We asked that. It does apply to children. We did ask that? Oh. Um, and can you perform this service to several people at the same time? Yes. Oh. Uh, would it be considered uh, to be in a classroom type environment? Could they? I guess. Sometimes. Sometimes. Um, hmm. Let us have a conference of our panelists here. A quick one. A quick one. It's key. Just it's not meant to be a cosmetic stuff. Right. Right. Multiple people at one time. I'm wondering if it's like a birthday party. It's some sort of family service. Yes. Uh, okay. I'm going to pass to Ms. McKay. <laughs> uh, does your service involve food in any way? No. That is four down and six to go. Uh, being that children can also enjoy this service, um, is this a family service? Generally, a family would come together? Sometimes. Sometimes. Uh, that's a yes, I think. Yes, you can continue Thank on you with your questioning, much. Mr. Hinkley. All righty. Um, should the people that you are servicing uh, be in a particular position, such as sitting, standing, lying down, Would it be safe to say that you have seen people in all kinds of different yes. positions? Yes. <laughs> so they're, they're, uh, in accepting the, the, the service, they can have their choice of stance, though. Yes. Okay. No food, right? Um, where to go next? Is there teaching okay. involved? What's that? Is there teaching Time involved? Time out. May we have a oh. time Just a quick pass. one. You could pass. Is there teaching involved? Group. I'm going to pass to Ms. Taves. Oh. <laughs> Ms. Taves. Um, is there any kind of teaching involved or education in this service? Yes. There is, okay. Are you in uh, the entertainment world for children and families and adults? Yes. You are. And do you perform this service on a stage? Yes. You do. And do you, oh, okay. You have to buy tickets to this service. No. No tickets. Okay. That's five down and five left. Uh, is uh, the service that you uh, perform uh, at all uh, related to religious services? No. No, it's not. That's six down, and we have four to go. Is your service uh, something that is um, offered only on the North Shore or to uh, a, a wider area? Could, could your service be found anywhere? Yes. Okay. Um, and um, could this service, does this service involve any animals? Sometimes. 
do um, is there a product involved in your service? Yes, no. no. No product involved in the service. Did we um, um, said something about the product underlying the service. service. Yes. But she said there is no product involved. That might just ask the question. Is is no, Frank. Okay. To be clear, powered tool. She provides a service in the salaried position right. that she is in, where her service at some point could be considered a beneficial product to the community. <laughs> if one were to yes. stretch we're going to yeah, yeah. the word product, but uh, please yeah, focus okay. on okay. service. Sure. Okay. Okay, but so I asked okay. about a product and she said no. All right. It does touch people. And therefore, it's seven down and three to go. <laughs> Can your service be considered to be an entertainment service? Yes. Yes. Um, in, uh, I know the time out. Did we? Oh, yeah, I have the time out. One second. Um, did, we, did we say that he, that, um, that, they, that he touches people? She touches. Time's up. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, 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 uh, are you a puppeteer? No. Okay. <laughs> no, eight down and just two left to go. Let's speed it up. Do you have a particular talent to be able to perform this no. service? You don't. No, nope. oh. that's nine down and just one left to go. Go for it, Dan. <laughs> I think we've got one, Jenny. Yeah, I think so, too. Uh, I'll pass to Ms. McCabe. You give up, Mr. <laughs> Rogers. That's 10 down. It's just not there. <laughs> Why don't you explain to them specifically what your line is, Jenny? I work in the community access uh, position in uh, Danvers. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> community, works access. community access. Gotcha, in oh. Danvers. Yeah. All righty. Oh, my gosh. And it touches Thank people. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. Not Please physically. Stop by and say hi <laughs> to us. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> oh, just big enough. <laughs> Thank you, Jenny. You fooled us. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jenny and Hearn. <laughs> Here is an offer from Stop at Spray Deodorant that you won't want to miss, but you'll have to hurry. This special value package of New Stopette with its anti-immunity factor gives you a 45-day trial bottle free when you buy New Stopette at the regular Now, price. panel, let's see what we can do with our final contestant of the day. Would you please enter and sign in? Welcome. All right, let's see. Oh, looks like we have another Barbara. Our turn to win. Not Barbara X, this is Barbara Catalini. Barbara, welcome. Please come right over here. May I present our panel? Barbara, where are you from? Gloucester. Barbara is from Gloucester. Barbara, you know how we keep score on what's my line? Yes, I do. Great. <laughs> and we are going to Take a minute and pause and show the studio audience and the audience at home exactly what your line is. Panel, we can tell you that Barbara is self-employed and deals in a specific product line. And we're going to begin the questioning with Mr. Hinckley. Well, hello, Barbara. Welcome. Um, so the product that, uh, is, uh, that we're trying to uh, guess here, um, is this a manufactured product? No. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> is this a product that um, takes a certain skill or talent? Yes. <laughs> So you've been trained in some way to make this? Or yes. Or you, you have been trained? Not self-trained, but maybe that too? Both. Okay. Let's put it that way. <laughs> um, and is this something you sell yourself? Yes. Out of a storefront or many storefronts? No. Mm. Okay. 
That is actually two down after we went past <laughs> Mr. Hinckley and eight to go. So Barbara, I'm, I'm uh, intrigued. Are you uh, involved in the art world? Mm, sometimes. Sometimes. Uh, uh, if I might, yes. to say that the product she does most definitely in the eyes of those of us who utilize it certainly would be considered very artistic. Is this product uh, used by both men and women? Yes. Is it used by uh, one more than the other? Um, no. Three down and seven to go. <laughs> Is this product consumable? Yes. Oh, consumable. And by consumable, are we talking edible? Yes. And is this product uh, sweet? Yes. And does the can I buy this product online? No. She doesn't have a store. That's four down she and six to go. Right. Did you ask if it was a store? She said, I, no, she said store. no store no front and no online sales. And no online. <laughs> but it's sweet. You're up, Mr. Hinckley. Yes, we are. So, Barbara, do we have to go to uh, your site to purchase this? She, she doesn't have it. It's not, no, not yes, available. Yes, I do. Oh, I said, is it available online? <laughs> but you said no. No, I said your site. Oh, it's her, like, you meant like a, a, oh, a physical location. site, location. Sorry. We were a little confused by yes. that, but Barbara, yes. Barbara, you, you get a yes on it. Yes. <laughs> Barbara, you want to go for Okay. Um, her her is, this, uh, is this product liquid? Sometimes. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. When people use this product, uh, do they do they like manipulate it such as on a brush? What's that again? <laughs> Can it be manipulated, uh, uh, for example, like on a brush? A brush. Uh, on a we brush. would not advise that, and the answer would be <laughs> no. 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 Okay. Five Thank down, you. five to go. It's, it's edible. It's oh, it's edible. It's edible. Mm. Yes. Um, is, does this product make you feel good when you use it? Yes. Ooh, big yes. And. Uh, uh, um, is it used for in celebrations a lot yes. of times? Um, do you make ice cream? No. That's six down <laughs> and four to go. I should be uh, Is your product a baked good? Is it what? A baked good. Yes. Yes. Um, would it be considered uh, uh, pastries or birthday cake, thing like that? Um, sometimes. So it's uh, yeah. edible, sweet. Uh, sometimes it's it's baked. Uh, it's baked. Um, dessert. Yeah. Uh, yes. Would it be considered a dessert type? Product? Yes. Yes. Uh, and <laughs> are you a uh, uh, a chef? No. <laughs> Although you may confuse Mr. Rogers by saying that, because those of us who look at what you do okay. would consider you a super Ooh. chef. Really? Okay. Wow. Yeah. So is the answer yes or no? So yes or no. <laughs> well, the answer was obviously a yes, okay. so Mr. Rogers so can yes. continue. Yeah, okay. Uh, the. Uh, uh, is the is the product uh, smaller than a shoebox? No. At seven down and three to go. So it's, so it's bigger than a shoebox. Oh. All right. Um, can many people partake of this product um, uh, at one time? Yes. Uh, is this product not smaller than a shoebox? Um, does this product have frosting? Yes. Ooh. Is this product a wedding cake? Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. All right. But now I have to guess. Yes. We'd um, like to introduce you to you Cakes by Barbara. She does custom wedding cakes oh, and has okay. for more than five 45 years. years. <laughs> How many? 45? 35 years. 45. Right in the Yay. 
It's the eggs. I'm a cake specialist. A cake specialist. Did you bring samples? <laughs> Bar <laughs> Barbara, thank you so very much. Please come around and say hi to each one of our panelists. Your line as she makes. Great job. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank and you, it's Barbara. not just wedding cakes, it's cakes for all, all occasions. Okay, specialize specialize in weddings. Yeah. Okay. I specialize in weddings. Okay. I started off specializing. Now we do a little of everything. All right. All right. That, I'm going to keep you. you in mind. I've been talking to colleges for 25 years. Oh. Cake, the cake decorating. Oh, really? Oh. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Panel, Barbara Cavalini. And now, everybody, for myself and for the panel, I would wish you a wonderful afternoon. We've so enjoyed having you with us, and we look forward to the next time that we all get together on What's My Line. Forget everything you ever heard about electric shavers. Here's a shaver that makes all other shaving old-fashioned. The Remington 60 Deluxe.